Oh gosh, yeah, I remember my last day. It was a sort of, I thought I'd cry all the way through it and I didn't, it was just a huge sense of relief really. And I remember all my colleagues sort of ended up sitting on the sofa with me and, and there's, yeah, there was amazing tributes from the Prime Minister, Posh and Bex and Take That, oh, a lot of people that I'd built up relationships with over the years. I'd been doing it for a long time, but during that time, both my parents were very, very ill with Alzheimer's. Um, I had two children during that time as well, so I had very young children, two very ill parents and very early starts. You know, we take it for granted, but your memory is fundamental to everything you do. Our house always smelled of baking when we were little, and I used to love helping mum make cakes, and there were always cakes in the tins, and she phoned me up at 3 a.m. one morning, just crying her eyes out, and she said, I've forgotten how to make cakes. And my childhood sort of went then. Dad was quite um, very private, very dignified, very honorable, a gentleman. Dad was never one for phoning us. And then one night he phoned me and he was crying and I'd never heard my dad. And he just said, I've got letters I don't understand. I've got bills and I don't know what they are. He never told us he loved us as children. We knew he did, but he never actually said, I love you or anything like that. And when he had Alzheimer's, he just kept telling me all the time, I love you, you know, I love you. I love, it just all the time. And I was just, I was overwhelmed by it actually. And he used to hug me all the time. We used to dance around his flat and things that dad would never have done actually. Usually, certainly when we were growing up and he used to be shouting at us all the time. We thought it was just old people saying funny things and forgetting things. We didn't realise that it was something more menacing than eccentricity, really. That if you get an early diagnosis, you can plan things. I would have been able to plan more for mum. We'd have looked around various homes instead of doing everything in a big rush and everything being sort of chaotic and catastrophic and reacting to one emergency after another. You know, there are things you can do.